Well, we thank you again for another blessed moment. Thank you for this beautiful day. Lord, you have brought, brought us so far by faith, by grace. And so we thank you, dear Jesus. Father God, we are about to begin our um, Bible lesson. And I pray, God, that each and every one that is represented here, oh God, and those who will be coming on later, Lord, they will, their hearts will be tuned, merciful Father God, to hear the word of God and to digest, oh merciful Father, what is being said. Lord, have your own sweet way tonight. I pray that you will bless the teacher, bless the, bless the hearts of, of the students, oh God, who are in, in, in the class at this moment. Praise God. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for another, another session, oh God, that will be well filled with the Holy Spirit. Thanks, merciful Father, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So much Amen. 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 All right, let me welcome everyone on behalf of um, our bishop, who I'm not sure is on there, but if he's um, not there in his absence, um, and also to um, our pastor, Pastor Spence, Minister Bird. Uh, I'm not sure if Evangel Spence is there, but on behalf of the uh, Faith Temple Church family, if you are on for the very first time, we want to welcome to another um, Wednesday night Bible study. We thank you so much for lending us your time. And if you are a Faith Temple family, let me welcome you also. It's a privilege for me to uh, to do this, and I pray that you'll pray for me. I'm not 100%, maybe three cylinders, but I'll try my very best tonight to get the job done. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this. And we're going to get right into our lesson, ex, ex, uh, Exeter. Esther chapter number two. We're going to begin with... Um, with Esther there. Esther chapter two. Uh -huh. And we're gonna read from verse one to verse number 23. There's 23 verses there. So we're gonna go all the way down there. And um, just just to introduce um, the lesson, you know, for the last um, couple of weeks, months, we've been talking about men in the scriptures. And the reason why I wanted was to do a lesson on, on women who I think played significant role um, in, in the Bible, not only in the historical setting, but also in the landmark of, of um, our salvation. And so I want to also highlight these women and make it become relevant as we are in, you know, time where we see women um, in our time now is, is really um, in government and in politics and whatever. So that's the point um, of, of, of my whole um, notion behind doing um, the series on women. And not only I plan to do Esther, but I want to uh, bring out other other women in the scriptures and make it relevant to um, you know today's church, where we see a lot of women bishops and and pastors and see that God don't have a problem with it. Sometimes I think we do, but that's all um, reasoning behind that I want to do this 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 uh, series. So Esther chapter uh, number two, I'll read the first ten verse and then. Um, <laughs> And then, um, Minister Bird, we can, Bird, we can just um, divide it up, okay? And it says, after these things, when the wrath of King Azarus was appeased, he remembered Vashti and what she had done and what was decreed against her. So we remember what happened in the first chapter, right? Yeah. So now he's saying when he remembered, there was a decree that she's no longer, you know, to serve in that capacity, right. yes? Right. Okay, and he said, and what was and what she had done and what was decreed against her. Then said the king's servants that ministered unto him, let there be fair young virgins sought for the king and let the king appoint officers in all the provinces of his kingdom that they may gather together all the fair young virgins in Shushan, the palace of the house and of the woman unto the custody of our age, the king's chamberlain, keeper of the woman and let their things be proof, proof and let, let their things for purification be given them. And let the maiden which pleased the king be queen instead of Vashti, and the thing pleased the king, and he did so. Now in Shushan, the palace, there was a certain Jew. It was not an ordinary Jew. It said a certain Jew whose mm -hmm. name was Mordecai, the son of Jer, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Kish, a Benjaminite who had been carried away from Jerusalem with the captivity, which had been carried away with the Jehokana, king of Judah, whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had carried away. 
and he brought up Adassa, that is Esther, his uncle's daughter, for she had neither father nor mother, and the maid was fair and beautiful, who Mordecai, when her father and mother were dead, took of his own daughter. So it came to pass when the king's commandment and his decree was heard, and when many maidens were gathered together unto Shushan the palace, to the custody of Agai, that Esther was brought also unto the king's house, to the custody of Agai, the keeper of the woman. And I read to 10. And the maiden pleased him, and she obtained kindness of him. And he speedily gave her things for purification, which such things as belonged to her. And seven maidens, which were made to be given her, wow, out of the king's house. And he preferred her and her maidens unto the best place of the house of the woman. Esther had not shown her people nor her kindred, for Mordecai had charged her that she should not show it. Next person. And Mordecai walked every day before the court of the woman's house to know how Esther did and what should become of her. <clears throat> Now when every maid's turn was come to go into the king Ahasuerus, after mm. that she had been twelve months, according to the manner of the women. For so were the days of their purification accomplished, to wit, six months with oil of myrrh, and six months with sweet odors, and with other things for the purif purifying of the women. Then thus came unto this, I'm sorry. Then thus came every maiden unto the king, whatsoever she desired, and was given her to go with her out of the house of the woman unto the, king, the king's house. In the evening she went, and on the morrow she returned into the second house of the women to the custody of Shashdaz the king of Chamberlain, which kept the con concubines. She came in unto the king no more, except the king delighted in her, and that she were called by name. Now when the turn of Esther, the daughter of Abihel, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her for his daughter, was come to go in unto the king. She required nothing but what Agai, the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the woman, appointed. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. So Esther was taken unto King Ahasuerus into his house, into his house royal in the tenth month, which is the month Tibet in the seventh year of his reign. And the king loved Esther above all the women, and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins, so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. Then the king made a great feast unto all his princes and his servants, even Esther's feast, and he made a release to the provinces and gave gifts according to the state of the king. And when the virgins were gathered together the second time, then Mordecai sat in the king's gate. Esther had not yet showed her kindred nor her people as Mordecai had charged her, for Esther did the commandment of Mordecai like as when she was brought up with him. In those days, while Mordecai sat in the king's gate, two of the king's chamberlains, Bigthan and Cherish, of those which kept the door, were wroth and sought to lay hand on the king Ahasuerus. And the, and the thing was known to Mordecai, who told it unto Esther the queen. And Esther certified the king thereof in Mordecai's name. 23 and last, mm -hmm. and when inquisition was made of the matter, it was found out, therefore, they were both checked, 
Let me read it again. Mm. And when inquisition was made of the matter, it was found out. Therefore, they were both hanged on a tree. Mm -hmm. And it was written in the book of the Chronicles before the king. Okay. Mm. Very good. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Deacon Paul. All right. Um, one of the things that I, I want to point out um, real quick or off the bat is that, you know, I, I, I read all 10 chapters more, more, than, more than once. And what you'll notice uh, toward the duration of this, of this um, series you, you know, you're not going to see God mentioned in any of these chapters. No. Okay. You're not going to see God mentioned in any of these chapters. I, I don't want to go ahead of myself because sometimes, I mean, I have a tendency because I get a little excited sometimes. Okay. But um, they, there's so much um, information. There's so much, um, you, you, you know, when you, when you look at um, just, just the study, it, it, it's, it's, it's just incredible Oh, oh, God works. And this is how I want, as we study each chapter, I want us, every one of us to start to mirror our life, take something and make it applicable to see, oh, God always work behind the scenes. And sometimes we don't really understand it. But then you can understand when you look at the text and it says all things work together for good. All right. So this is all I want you to see. So God is not mentioned in, in the lessons that we're going to be discussing. But every time we go through it, I want you to see, look at your life and, and, and maybe find something yeah, to, sort of, to sort of mimic, to see, oh, God, sort of work it out so you can get, get, get the, the, the meat of the lesson. All right. Keep that in mind. All right. So now we see, you know, we're in chapter two. All right, and if you just if you just um came on, I want to welcome you again to Faith Temple um, Wednesday night Bible study. We're so grateful and appreciate that you came on. We are in Esther chapter two, and there's ten lessons that we're gonna go through all ten. All right, so here we now see that no, you know, we in chapter two, and now we see that um you know the the, the um the king servants are his cabinet or his advisor, so to speak. You no, know, they go and remind the king because more than likely some time has, has passed, right? And so they went and reminded the king that, listen, you know, we need to get a new queen now in, inside this palace, palace in Shushan, right? Mm -hmm. and, so, and so now they, they, they make this decrease, you know, they want to get um, what we'll call a beauty pageant going on here, right? So more than right. likely, they, they sent out word to get all of these women to come into the palace so they can have a beauty pageant. I'm, I'm trying to make it sort of relevant, okay? And... Um, and so as they make this, this, this notion to get these um, women, okay, somehow we see that Mordecai, Mordecai, um, who was taking care of his, 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 his cousin, his, 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 niece. Uncle's, his uncle's daughter, yes? His niece. His niece? Yes. All right, so we're going to say his, 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 his niece. And... Um, his uncle's daughter. His, un his, his uncle's cousin. daughter, man. His cousin. His cousin. His brother. Would be right. Okay. His All right. Uncle. But anyway, I'm yes. just trying to build a platform. And so no. Oh, okay. So no. More than likely, you know, Mordecai must be saying to um to um to um to Adassa, right? Mm -hmm. Um, you 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 know, you should go and give it a shot, man, because you know you 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 know you you fit the profile. You look good. A pretty girl. Yes, I'm, I'm just trying to bring it somewhere then. And so we, we, we see, you know, that, that Mordecai told Esther, okay, you should go. So let's, let's go in, into the scripture now and, and see. And, um, and it says, and, uh, okay, verse number four, it said, let the maidens which please the king be queen instead of Vashi, and the king please the king. And he did so. So now he sent out the decree. Now in Shushan, the palace, there was a certain Jew whose name was Mordecai, the son of Jahir, the son of Shemir, the son of Kish, a, a, a Benjamite. Yeah. And it says, who had been carried away from Jerusalem with the captivity which had been carried away. In other words, then, okay, the reason why the Jews were there included Mordecai, okay, and, 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 and you know, Adassa. I'm going to get to her essay in a little bit, okay? because of the captivity that was carried away from Jerusalem in, 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 into, into Babylon, right? Which is Iraq right. and all of that place, right? Mm -hmm. and, and so, and so it, it's what he said. And it says, he brought up Adassa, which is Esther. Now, 
Now, the reason why they changed the name from Adassa, I just this is because of Bible study. Um, let me let me just look at my notes. No, Adassa is a Hebrew name. Mm. That's her Hebrew name, all right? But because of what is happening now, and, and I did a little research, you know, um, they had to change her name. Because remember now, you know, um, Esther didn't, couldn't go as a Jewish girl. Right. So they changed her name, you, you know, and, and call her Esther as opposed to Adassa. Because mm -hmm. Adassa is a, is, a, is, a, is a Jewish name. Jewish and now name. Esther means, it means hidden or concealed. In other words, she, she, she hides in her, her identity. Identity. Mm -hmm. and we, we'll get into that at some point, you know what I mean? And we say, well, listen, you know, you know, how comes, you know, a little, little trick we see here in the scriptures. But anyway, we'll, we'll get to that, you know, when we're ready to debate it, all right? But anyway, so he says, and he brought up Adassa, that is Esther, his uncle's daughter, for she had neither mother nor father. In other words, she didn't have anybody, you know, her mother and father died, yes? Right. And, and keep in mind, even though our mother and our father died, no, God was still working in her life. Uh -huh. you know, don't, 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 don't lose sight of that. And the maid was, was, was fair and beautiful. When, who Mordecai, when her father and, and mother dead, took her as his own daughter. Mordecai saw something in her, man, right? And verse 8 says, So it came to pass when the king's commandment and his decree was heard, and when many maidens were gathered together unto Shushan, the palace of the custody of Agai, that Esther was brought also unto the king's house to the custody of a guy, keeper of the woman. So she's in there along with the other virgin, yes? Uh -huh. But watch this now. Look at verse number nine. And the maiden pleased him, and she obtained kindness of him. And he speedily gave her her things for the purification with such things as belong to her. And watch this, and seven maidens which were meet to be given her out of the king's house. And he preferred her and her maidens unto the best place of the house. Okay, in other words, what, what this verse is saying, you know, right away, you, you, you know, she just, she just received favor, man. Oh, yes. <laughs> Remember, you know, she had nobody, you know. She had no mother and she had no father. Exactly. But Mordecai saw something in her and said, listen, go, go, go and apply for the, for the, for the, for the, for the position, man. Go, go and, and, and be part of the beauty pageant, right? And as soon as he got there, the Bible said that, that, mm -hmm. that um, Egie, he speedily gave her all the things that she needed for the purification. And not only that, but he gave her seven other women to take care of her. So right off the bat, you know, she just obtained favor. Yeah, instantly accepted. All right, okay. Uh -huh. In the, the Bible said in Psalms 5, 12, 5, chapter 5, verse number 12, it says, for, it says, for the Lord who bless the righteous and surround them with favor. We're talking about favor now, you know. That's right. All right. Right off the bat, she obtained favor as soon as she gets into, in, into the palace. All right. And it says here, it says, and, and, and also he gave her seven maidens which were made to be given her out of the king's house. And he preferred her and her maids. Even the maids obtained favor too, you know. Look at mm -hmm. what he says here. He says, and her maids. <laughs> Unto the best place of the house of the woman. All right. I will go on to verse and say, Esther had not shown her people nor her kindred for a Mordecai a charger that she should not say nothing. Sometimes, you know, you, sometimes, you know, you're not, you're not a place and your work. You know what I mean? Sometimes there's certain things you don't even say, you know. That's right. Because if the scripture says, watch this, if the scripture said death and life in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21, right? If, 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 if death and life is in the power of the tongue, and he that loveth will eat the food thereof. Yes? In other words, then, why do why you think that he told her not to say anything? Anybody want to try that? Why do you think Mordecai told her not to say anything in terms of Minister Bird mentioned her identity early on? He found disqualified. Eh? He might have been found disqualified. Okay, okay. Why? Because, because she being Jewish? I think so. Maybe I think because she's Jewish. 
Okay, okay. But God, remember, you know, the, the Jews are in captivity, you know. They, they, they right, are, and go, she, yeah, right. She yeah, was in go captivity. Ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I thought you were going no, to. No, I said she was also in captivity. Right. So maybe they wouldn't want to choose a Jewish girl who is in who came out of captivity, you know. Right, right, ex ex exactly. See, in other words, she, 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 she's in bondage. She, she's, she's, what do you call maybe, you know, a slave girl right. or, or, you know, her descendant, whatever it is then. She, 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 you know, Jews were, you know, were, were sort of, you know, a lower class. Okay, within, 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 within that, that, that terrain. And so he had, you know, maybe, you know, raise her to say, listen, you know, you go certain places, you know, don't, don't quick to say that you're Jewish or whatever. Maybe she could have probably just blend in, like, like she look like them and, and whatever it is. I'm, I'm just sort of, you know, making this relevant, you know. So she didn't have to say anything because she blend in and, and maybe her pigmentation of her skin or whatever it is, she sort of blend in, okay. But regardless of that, she found favor. That, that's the point I want to say that right off the bat, Esther up, obtained favor. All right. And it says here, and Mordecai walked every day before the court of the woman's house to know how Esther did and what should become of her. Now, when every maid's turn was come to go into the king as a rest, after that she had been 12 months. In other words, it's been a year, you know. It's been one year that 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 Mordecai, I'm not seeing. Esther, she's Esther no, she's no more Adassa, right? Because we say no, mm -hmm. Esther no, she can mean conceal. Because she changed her name. All right. And so now the Bible said no 12 months that Mordecai have not seen or heard from, from his cousin. But he says here, and Mordecai walk every day before the court. Now, what do you think Mordecai is doing? <laughs> <laughs> He, he, he was making sure that he, th this young lady who he brought up okay. was well taken care of. You know, they, they were not treating her bad. They were not disrespecting her. And he wants to see how everything is going. He, I think he was a very, a very good father to her, as any father would do. Protecting mm. their daughter. There you go. There you go. But you know what I, I you know what I think also, you know, this is just me, you know, as from a spiritual perspective. I think that Mordecai possible was just interceding. Every time he walked by, he must say, Bless her Lord. I maybe, you know, you know, playing the blood that she she she's okay. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Because he's walking by, he must be saying something one of the day. It, it must be saying something in terms of praying to the God of Israel. You, you get what I mean? For him to be walking by every single day for 12 months, he's walking by not only to inquire how she's doing, but I think that he's uttering a prayer for her. Quite because he, he, he has not heard anything what is going on from, from his cousin as yet. You know, maybe he's thinking maybe what if, you know, she exposed her identity or whatever happened. So he's walking by every day so he can probably see what is going on here for 12 months. Any other comments so far? We in verse number 13. Mm. Then just came every maiden unto the king, whatsoever she desired was given her to go with her out of the house of the women unto the king's house. So in other words, after 12 months now, them start to prep them and them ready now to go and, and, and show and, and to make their, make their case to go and, and do this, this beauty pageant stuff, all right? In the evening, she went on the morrow. She returned into the second house of the women. So now she's in, she, she passed the first round. She, she, she can't go on now, right? Mm -hmm. He said, no, she, she, she's in, in the evening. She went on to, to the morrow. She returned into the second house of the women to the custody of as, as Shaz, Shagaz, the king's chamberlain, which kept the concubine, she came into unto the king no more, except the king delighted in her, and that she were called by name. In other words, now the second, the second, um, second um, home that she's in now, you move from, from, from number one, now you're number two. All right. Mm -hmm. So at this point, no, based on how you make your case and how you present yourself and how you look and whatever it is, you smell with all the fragrance. No, no, you have to wait until the king calls you. So now the king has an itinerary with all the names. 
Okay, so she must have got picked out of out of a group of say ten or fifteen or whatnot. So now she's in the she's in the second um second room. Okay, now when the turn number fifteen, now when the turn of Esther, the daughter of Abihail, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her for his daughter, was come to go into unto the king. She required nothing, but what Agai the king's chamberlain, the first chamberlain, told her. The keeper of the woman appointed, and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all of them that look upon her. I, I don't want to move from number 15 yet, you know, but, but this is profound. Okay. She said she don't want nothing to go in there. All right. You have everything. I have everything that let me, let, me, let me say so. Listen, listen, she, she's going in, and this is what she's saying, you know. They're giving her all these things, and Esther is saying, listen, okay, the keeper um, is saying, appointed, and Esther obtained favor, and said, that, okay, good. But they're giving her other things to go in there, and she said, no, I don't want that. Because when you, when you understand the favor of God, you know, because the Bible tells you, you know, she opt everywhere she goes, she obtained favor, you know. Favor. Uh -huh. you, you get what I mean? She obtained favor, so she said, you know what, with all this favor on my life, I don't need to take nothing else, because I just know that you know, I'm going to make it in life, man. Mm. <laughs> He's going to take me through. Yes. I mean, you see, you see confidence. You, 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 see, you see where she is. You know, she's ready. She, she, she's well-groomed. Because from day one, you know, she just obtained favor. From the minute she, she got into the palace in Shushan, she obtained favor. And the Bible said here, it says, says every, every, everybody look at her, you, you know, them just start to gravitate towards her, whatever that magnet, that, that just drawn people to, um, um, you know, to them. Have you ever gone somewhere and, and people just come to you and you said, why the person come to you? And you don't understand, is, is, that, is that precious cargo that, that, that you carry in called the Holy Ghost? It's, it's the anointing, it's the favor of God. Mm-hmm. You, wanna, you understand what I mean? And so when you look and see, even though our parents had died, God put Mordecai in her life because God had a purpose for her life. That's right. <laughs> All right. And so he said, so Esther was taken unto the king, Azeros, into his royal house in the 10th month, which is the month of Tebeth, in the seventh year of his reign. And the king loved Esther above all women. Wow. And she obtained grace and favor in the sight of more than all the virgins. And so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Batsy. Let me go back over that, man. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm talking about I'm, I'm talking about good night, Bishop. Good night, good night, Bishop. <laughs> I'm getting a little excited, um, Minister. Um, good night, good night, ma'am. Good night. Ma good night. <laughs> I, I'm I'm trying to hold my seat, you know, uh, because this lesson is so is so interesting. Okay, we in verse 17. If you just came on, thank you so much for coming on. And it says here, you know, when 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 the king when the king saw Esther, the Bible said no, and the king loved Esther above all the women, and she obtained grace. And she obtained favor. We're talking about a little orphan girl, you know, mm -hmm. who had to be hiding her name from Adassa. She can't, she can't make nobody know that she's Jewish. But, but, but God has granted her favor. That's right. You understand what I mean? And, and the Bible said, and the Bible, here's what the Bible said. He said he, 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 she obtained favor, grace and favor. That is a double portion right there, you know, double portion, grace and favor, all right, mm -hmm. in the sight of more than all the virgins. So that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Batsy. Somebody give me Psalm 57, 75, verse number 7. Quickly, I'm going to show you something. Psalm what? Psalm, 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 Psalm 75, 75, 75, verse 7. 75. Uh, 72, 72, but God is the judge. He put it on one and set up another. Read it one more time, Minister Bird, please. But God is the judge. 
he put it down one and set up another. All right. So you see, you see where I'm going with this. So when mm -hmm. we talk about last week, we talk about Vasi, who Vasi, for whatever reason, she did not go. We talk about the last week, right? Right. Yes. Okay. And so now we look at this scripture where the psalmist says here, no, he said, God is the judge. <laughs> and it says here, Minister Brothers Fred, he said, God is the judge. He put at one down mm -hmm. and he set at one up. So, in That's other words, right. then what I'm trying to say now, it, it was just a season and a time that, that even though Vashi had wanted to go in, he had sit her down, man, because he was ready for, for, um, for, for Esther. <laughs> All right? And so, and so, this is what the psalmist is saying. God, um, he's a judge. He's the one that put one down and put one up. You understand? I'm and so no, he, he, yes. he elevate. That's the reason why he, he gave her the he gave her the grace and he gave her the favor. That everywhere she she went, people just fell in love with her and they could not understand. No, you have to make sure that that you mirror your life with what I'm 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 teaching. You know, because this is what I'm saying. Because I'm mirroring my life based on what I'm teaching. <laughs> All right, and so and so we see what is happening. You know, our life now take a turn. I'll get to Mordecai later on, but let's just stick with 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 Esther for a little while right here. You now, so no, okay, the fact that she 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 obtained favor. Not only did she obtain, but no, she obtained a crown. She becomes king now. And even though we, we go to, we don't see nothing mentioned about God, you know, all we see, we see that she obtained favor from all these people. And so it's God have a, have a way to put people in our life to, to bless us, man. God have got a way where strategically he put people in different, oh, yeah. in different um, aspects of our lives. I know that there are people that, 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 that I have met yet who God is, is going to put in my life to get me to, to, a, to a certain, to, to, you know, to, to have to a certain point, whatever his plan is for my life. And so I want you to see yourself um, in, this, in, in this text here, just as Esther, because Mordecai must have saw something in, in her and said, listen, you know what? I think you, you should go and, and try out for um, the beauty pa uh, pageant. And as soon as she walked into the palace in, in Shushan, she mm -hmm. obtained favor. Everywhere this young lady went, she obtained favor, and yet mm -hmm. she concealed her identity. Because she could not say that she was a Jewish girl because the Jews were looked at and they, they were bond people. They were not free people, so to speak. Any, any question, any comments? And so when we're talking about when we're talking about favor, this is what we are talking about, just favor in abundance. And yeah. it's not it, it, it's not anything that I you know showed us that she did. It just God already extended favor uh, on her life. And mm -hmm. I, I wish that her, her mother and father was alive to actually see what 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 become of her. But but it, that that's another 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 thing. And verse number nineteen says, "And when the virgins were gathered together the second time, then Mordecai sat in the king's gate." Esther had not yet shown her kindred nor her people as Mordecai had charged her, for Esther did the commandment of Mordecai like has when she was brought up with him. What is the scripture saying here? Mordecai taught her some godly principles, man. Yes. Mordecai instilled some, 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 um, some values, some values in her. You know what I mean? Because one thing that we can all agree when it comes to the Jewish people, they, they sort of know, you know, their, 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 their history, they, they know about it. You can yeah. take an Israeli Jew or an American Jew and you talk about, you know, certain historical and they can relate to it. They know about it. Even mm -hmm. if they don't practice certain uh, of, of the, um, the festivities and, and the holidays and whatnot, but they know about their, 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 their history. As, as, as a people, you understand what I mean? So Mordecai, he, he, you know, the scripture here embedded all of those, all of those um, important things in her life. The scripture says um, in, in, in Proverbs, train up a child in the way that they should go. And when they get whole, they will they not depart from it. So we see all the scripture is coming around here now. All right. 
And he said, in those days while Mordecai sat at the king's gate, watch this. He says, in those days while Mordecai sat at the king's gate, two of the kings, Chamberlain, Bigton, and Teresh, of those which kept the door were wrought and sought to lay and, and King Azarus. And the thing was known to Mordecai, who told it unto Esther, the queen, and Esther certified the king thereof in Mordecai's name. And when inquisition was made of the matter, it was found out. Therefore, they were both hanged on a tree, and it was written in the book of the Chronicles before the king. In other words, then there was, there, there was, a, there was a coup attempt for mm -hmm. King Azarus. Okay. And Mordecai, I don't know if he was just a doorman or what was his portfolio. I cannot tell you. But all I know that Mordecai was somehow at, at, at the palace gate. I don't know why he was there, but 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 you know he was he was at the at the palace gate, and him heard him heard that thing. Him heard, him heard that 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 them why them they want to um to sort of um overthrow the king or kill the king. You understand what mm -hmm. I mean? And so and so Mordecai sort of kept that, but later on we'll see what 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 he did with 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 with, with that um you know that that coup attempt that he heard. But but let's let let's go back to, to where we see with, with, with Hester now. So right away we see that now Esther now has the crown walking around in a place. Right? She she yeah. she's walking around um no as 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 the queen. And I'm not gonna go to chapter three tonight. Okay, but we're just gonna open up open up for, for um for Ooh. discussion here. But one of the things that that really it, it really will get me is 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 the fact that from she walking to the palace, if I go back to verse 15, okay, and it says, Now when the turn of Esther, the daughter of Abiel, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her for his daughter, was come to go into the king, she required nothing but what Agar the king, Chamberlain, the keeper of the, of the, of the woman, appointed. And, up, and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all of them that look upon her. Because remember, I know we talk about Mordecai, Mordecai in the early verse there, in verse 11, walking around the, the, the palace every single day, past the fence, for 100 and, and, and for 12 months. And, and I just believed that, that, that Mordecai was just there praying for her, he was interceding for her. And yes. so by the time her time come, the scriptures say that she, she just obtained favor. Any, any, anyone else want to chime in on what we're talking about here? Hmm. Um, my, my, one of my, my footnote, one of my footnote here said, um, <clears throat> God placed Esther on the throne even before the Jews faced the possibility of complete destruction, so that when trouble came, a person would already be in the position to help. No human effort could, could throw God's plan to send the Messiah to earth as a Jew. Okay, okay. Yeah, so what he was saying that that God sent Esther. God sent Esther to the palace. In other words, it was a plan of God mm -hmm. why Esther uh, <clears throat> became queen. It was a faith, the favor of God that caused her to be chosen then as the queen. Because she were able down the road to no, save the Jews. No, don't say that. Don't say that yet. Don't say that yet. If you say that, then we won't come back next week. <laughs> right, right. Understood. 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 Let, let, let me read. Let me read. You know, I'm using this book. Um, it's called. So, so it was the total plan. It was the total plan of God, and so. What I take away from, from all of this is that God goes ahead and plan our lives before Amen. we were born. 
You see, because if we remember even um this king who was it as one of them, he said, Before you were born, I were I ordained you before you were while you were in your mother's womb, I ordained you. So don't say that you are a child. Right? Uh, one of those prophets. Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah, right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Yes. So so just like how Esther um God went before or predestined her life that yes. way. Mm -hmm. That's the same way God is in oh. our lives. Oh, we might not understand it and we might not know some of the things that he protects us from. Mm -hmm. You know, but because he predestines us, he, he is there to take care of us. He's always taking care of us. Right. That, 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 that is the key. And, 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 and so even if you look at Jeremiah chapter 11, I mean, 27, 11, he said, God knows the plans that he has for us. Right. To prosper us and to give us a great future. And so, and so the takeaway is if, if, if we can look at uh, something in the life of Esther and make it applicable. Let, let me read um, just a paragraph of this book I'm using. Um, it's called Esther, written by Patty Pell. Um, I'm not saying for you to go and get it, but I, it, you know, I have this book here in the book of Esther. And it says, you know, trust in God's word. Just a quick paragraph. It says, when the curtain rises, the play begins. We see and hear the actors and the actresses tell a story, but the most important person in the play is not on the stage. The director is the one who has instructed the cast for months on where to stand and sit and when and how to say a line. The director is behind the scenes giving final instructions, touching up makeup and encouraging the players. The play is a success because of the director who has orchestrated every detail of the play. In the book of Esther, God is not mentioned, but he is the key figure in the story. He works through the circumstances to, to place everything in order so that his plan will accomplish. And I can go on and, and read. God is, the, God is the director of our lives as well. As we look back at different times in our lives, we can see the handprints all over. Our response to him is to look for his and move in and to trust his direction. All right. Yeah. Amen. And so and so God already pre predestined Esther to, to, to become to become queen at that particular point. Mm -hmm. and, and, and and the fact that he, he, he predestined her is the favor and the grace, as the scripture said here, she just obtained it. So right away, once the king see her and everybody, more than likely, were just talking about maybe when she walked in, there was a big hooray or a big, a big outburst. He could remember, we, you know, remember, you know, in, in the palace, they, this is a beauty pageant. So they must, they must have been saying something. And so you could get a sense of, of the polling. If you should take a polling, you will realize that now when Esther come across the stage or the ballroom, you know, her, her cheers must, be, must have been louder than, than the rest yeah. of the young ladies. Yeah, you follow it's, what I'm saying? Yeah, this is the girl. Uh, ex exactly. The you know what I mean? And so, and so, Faber will do that to you. <laughs> you, you. You understand what I mean? And, and so, you can just imagine the, the uproar in, in the palace, including the king. You, you understand what I'm saying? And, and, so, and so, when you understand the anointing and the favor and the blessing, and I'm talking about even, even, even the maidens, you know, because, because even sometimes our children, is not because of their doing, you know, but sometimes it's because of our doing, interceding for our children them, and, 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 and whatever, you know. That's right. Because if we wish to believe, I mean, I can only talk about myself. Sometimes I know my parents were, 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 were praying for me. I wasn't always doing what I was supposed to be as a teenager and all that stuff. But I, but I know that, that, that my mother and my father was, 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 was there praying for me. And I find myself now doing that on my knees along with my wife and my knees for my two kids. And I know that they know how he's doing things that is pleasing to God. But here's the key is, is that so the blessing on my life, I know it transcends on them because I'm interceding for them because they're my children. Mordecai was interceding for his for his cousin. That's right. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? And and so when you look at it and you say, look, you know, from, from such a humble um beginning, no, she became king. I mean, she became she became queen only because of favor. Favor can 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 
can put you in places that you never imagined or even fathom it, you know. True, sir. We're uh, the king's palace. Yes, and remember, and remember, remember now, here, 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 here's the key. No, she's still hiding her identity, you know. Uh-huh. And God never really have a problem with it because, because he had a plan and purpose. I wish I could go ahead and listen, but I, I don't want to do that. You know, she's still, she's still known as Esther, but she's really not Esther. She's really a Dasa. And if you remember, even when Abraham had, 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 had went to Sarah and, and they went to Egypt, uh -huh. Oh my goodness, how did I get there? Remember when he went, Abraham says Sarah was his sister, you know? Yes. All right. In so you, fact, she was. Well, <laughs> 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 No, well, well, well. <laughs> well, Bishop wants to, Bishop, Bishop wants to chime in. Bishop wants to, Bishop wants to no, 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 Okay. I just wanted to endorse that, that in those days it was, uh, it was part of the, what would be allowable. <laughs> but I would just like to capture on what Pastor has been really teaching with so wonderfully presented. And just to put in that, one of the reasons why, if you notice, when people are in captivity, they lose their initial freedom. Mm -hmm. They were oftentimes have been given the choice to change their name to fit in with the culture in which they're going to. And this was one of the reasons, if you notice too, even the men who were um, captured, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Yes. And Daniel and all these people were given the name according to the country because, yeah. um, that they are now in bondage. And also, uh, they have to also adapt the principles or the, you know, of the new culture that they are engaging. Mm -hmm. That's why when they were given different names and they know the culture they were brought up in and they were you know, invoked uh, with hard fire to, you know, worship the king and the music. They refused it because they remember their culture. No man shall serve any other person beside God. But here we see Esther. Um, and remember, there's a song which backs up the teaching very well. God moves in mysterious ways. His wow. wonders to perform. This was one of the time in, in scripture when we see God move in a mighty <coughs> way. No man could write that. No Nebuchadnezzar, nobody in that culture and time could really plan it. It's God's moving. And I'm glad that we all okay. had identified that and put our faith and trust in what we are being taught tonight. So therefore, there are times in our very life today when we are going to see movements things happening that really we have to pause to wonder at this. And I like to realize also that the name of God, there are times when God will do things in silence. It's not with the rushing wind. It's not with the mighty tornado, not that, but in the still small voice. And I like also how we were able to identify the watchman. Now, I to call Brother Mordecai a watchman. Mm -hmm. And not just a physical watchman that watch walls and time and what to see. And see the hypocrites them wanting to kill the, uh, the king to prevent Esther from becoming queen. Because if that had happened, he would be, Esther would not be queen there. Yes, sir. Would God have his people in silence going around the city. And sometimes we go to church, don't bother jump up and be no big spirit mashing down place and so observe what is going on, make notes and go to the Lord in prayer. I've seen that happen even in our now situation. You know what I mean? I remember going to a church and I whispered to my wife on our way home, I said, so and so and so and so. And she never saw it like where I say, I say, and about nine months after we went to the same church, to the same place, and we see the answer that we had spoken of about nine months ago. Mm. So God sometimes speaks in small voices, as well as he has the ability to do so in loud voices. 
But I, I, I'm, I'm really delighted for the teaching tonight and see how, you know, Esther getting the favors from God and treating it because of how she was culturally grown up. And I like how it came out to see that um, she lost her mother, lost her father. She was an orphan, you know, but she had somebody as great as a father. And that's why we sometimes have to find ourselves involved, if we can, in somebody who needs our parentage. In, yes. You know, and, and be for them just like how we would be for the real kid. I have people in my family that my wife and I go and send them to high school, send them to college, adopt them and take them to the United States. And many of them are nurses and in high places now, thank God. Amen. You know what I mean? So, beloved one, the little that we can do sometimes does help. And when we read the book of Esther and study the life of the, how God has mysteriously moved in her life, that, that she could be queen sitting up on a throne in a lauded country where powerfully rich and endowed with supreme majesty and honor. Guess what? God is doing the same right here and now. And if we could just take responsibility for some of those folks who, who we see in need and some of those other little goodies that we can, sometimes it's just to send them a little package. Sometimes it's just to do a little good deed. That's what Mordecai was doing and that's what favored Esther to become queen instead of Vashti. That, that, that is right. That is right. And, and I should have, I should have mentioned. Let me back up. I should have mentioned. You know the you know the characters that in in this in the story is is the king, um, one Mordecai number two, um, Amon number three, and Esther number four, and Bashir. The main five characters in there. And so just just to sort of amplify what Bishop um, just said, I was thinking about it because because when you look at verse um, number eleven, and and I'm, and I'm really gravitating towards this verse. I mean, remember now, she's in there for 12 months, 12 months, okay? And the scripture here says, okay, and I'm not paraphrasing it, I'm just reading it. It says, and Mordecai walked every day before the court of the woman's house to know how Esther was doing, mm. how Esther did, and what should become of her. In other words, then for, for, for 12 months, he's walking around every single day. Maybe he had a job there as a doorman. I mean, I don't know. But he walked there. He was so concerned about this young lady. He meant her well. And, 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 and so the, 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 the point is, 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 is like, like Bishop was, was alluding to, is, is, you know, people in our life, you know, where, you know not everybody going to be, um, you know, the Esther. You know, sometimes we, we ought to be the Mordecai in the, in the in the story. Right. You know what I mean? If if you have your your kids and you have the neighbors, okay. If you get up every morning, you just pray specifically for your kids, and then you don't even mention the neighbors' kids and right. say, Lord bless them, have mercy upon them. Then then what kind of person would you be if you just pray just for your house alone and your block? If there's six houses on your block, or there's ten houses, or you, and it, or it's, it's, it's uncountable, and you just get up and just pray, Lord, bless me, and then the people beside you, behind you, and whatnot, then to me, then, then something is wrong. You are going to leave me out there. I'm saying, let me say it again. If you, if we, let me say, if, if I, Pastor Brian, get up every day, and I'm just praying for my, my, two, my two kids, and I don't even mention the kids them behind me, the neighbor's kids, mm. Because sometimes the neighbor, them don't even pray. Them, them don't even have any relationship with Jesus Christ. You know right. what I mean? And so, and so if, if, if I can him say, Lord, you, you know, remember my neighbor's kids, man. The one that drive the blue car. The one that so and so and so. Lord, cover them under your blood, man. You, you get what I'm saying? You must have some, some empathy, some, some, some concern for, for X, Y, Z. Whether it's a relative or it's not a relative. Or a co-worker, daughter, or so and so and so. And so, and so Mordecai was placed in, in Esther's life because God already predestined, just like how he predestined Jeremiah before he was even con um, um, conceived in his mother's womb. God said, I, I, I sanctify you and ordain you way before he, that was even happening in his mother's womb. So when you look at, at um, Esther, even though her mother and her father died, okay, God already predestined for her to be 
to be queen because he had a plan and purpose for her to do a, to do a work. And we know what the work is. We, we know the 10 chapters, and, and I, I study all 10 chapters, and I know it, and most of us know it. But here's the point. When you look and see you know, where she's coming from, she's coming from, from, from nowhere. She's an orphan. That's right. And look, now she's in the palace, and now her work has just begun. So if you cannot look and see where, where, where God has taken, taken us from, I know that I, 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 I'm not the person that I used to be, you know. And I'm not the person that I want to be. And so when you look and see um, how God strategically is working in, 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 in Esther's life, then I know God must be working in all of us life, man. Right. If not, he would not have said Jeremiah chapter 27, <laughs> verse 11. I know the plans. So if God said he know the plans, then I believe that God knows the plan that he have for all of our lives. I believe it. That's right. That's right. Amen. You understand what I mean? There's sometimes you don't know all the bill gonna pay you. You don't know what's gonna happen because you know you go to the doctor and the doctor tell you, listen, you know things don't look so right and and you know whatever, whatever, whatever it is. You you, you know what I mean? And or uh, whatever the situation, you can just get some bad report. And sometimes it sort of it sort of does shift you, 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 you know, mentally. It sort of throw you off. It's not that you don't know better, no. But the news just sort of consume you. That it, it, it just gets because you're we are human being. But if we Tag can you. Know, and know that no matter what it is, God is working strategically to bring about a purpose. Whether you are Mordecai or you are Esther, every one of us, God is working something out. And sometimes God put people in our life. He wants us to, 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 to be a blessing to those persons. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm telling you. I remember when my father died and I and, 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 and Bishop I went I went to bury my father and, and, and when I came back I had a little situation here, sir. I, I had it, it go ahead of myself and and, 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 and bought and bought this house and, and they didn't sell the other one it and I said, Well then but I would have sold that house and, and take the money and put a down payment. So I went ahead of myself, my wife and I and, and my father died in, in the interim. And I went to Jamaica and took care of that and came back here and Bishop I didn't have any money, sir. And I had two mortgage and this house and, and the other house in Elmont and, and, and car payment and insurance. And I'm sitting here saying, oh my goodness. And believe you me, folks, I'm sitting here and a, a friend of mine just showed up and I didn't call nobody because sometimes, you know, you don't want to tell people, that listen, why you don't have any money. You just, you just, you just start to wing it. And, and Minister folks, I'm telling you, sister folks, I, I'm here this Sunday and, and I hear my doorbell rung. And a friend come to me, not even a church person, not even a Christian, sir. And he says, Sam, I know you just come up from Jamaica and, and, and I know you want the money. And the person gave me $2,000. You know, hear what I'm saying? That's it. I go to Jamaica and I have to rent the car. I have to do this and funeral expensive. And when I come back here, I don't have the money because I thought the house would have sold and the house was on the market for six months. I almost walk away from it. And the person come and just, and, and just give, just say, okay, listen, man, I know you don't have any money. Oh, you know that. And I didn't, hmm. I didn't tell nobody more than me and my wife talking. How did he know that? And so the point I'm saying, when you look and see how strategically God just placed Mordecai and all of these people, you know, that is, is working with her. That's all, that's all God working on. Because he has a plan. Serious ways. Listen, the Bible said in Proverbs chapter um, 13, 20, he said, if you walk with fool, you become fool, you know. Yeah. And if you walk with wise, you become wise. That's right. Sometimes we need to walk with some wise people, man. Keep company with some good people. What do you mean? I speak to say to him, look at Proverbs 13, 20. So in favor. I live, on that, I live on that verse because I know what it's saying. Walk with some wise people, man. The man come all the way from Queens and come and give me $2,000 and I didn't tell him my problem. Oh. <laughs> now, hear what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Esther obtain favor before, before, even before her parents died. And he didn't ask if he wanted to borrow. <laughs> no, no, sir. <laughs> the the, the, the sometimes we have, we, have, we have a little, we have a little, we have, we have a little pride, man. We have, we have a little thing about us. You know what I mean? You, 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 you know, you know, you don't want to go and say because the person may say, "Well, listen, why he, he look him come and borrow money from me, and and he might buy, he might wear pretty shoes, I want pretty suit, and he have the money." So sometimes. Sometimes that, that, that starts to play in, into how we operate because some people, you know, you have to start to know you can go and say, listen, man, you know, they can uh, listen, they are going to try the situation. If you have, if you, you know, big and pound of flour, or sugar, or whatever, you know what I mean? Sometimes it's not, it's not, it's not easy to come and, 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 and sort of 
I don't want to say beg, but you know, you don't, you don't really want to because because sometimes people will, will talk in business in the church or whatever. I, I'm not banging church, you know, but I see this thing happen sometimes. People come on and, 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 and say certain things, you know what I mean? So you have to sort of be careful how, how you sort of navigate certain things. You, you sort of just, sometimes you just go to your bed and drink a cup of water and, 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 and you're hungry, still, but you just sort of hold it down. Same way too. Because you may call someone and say, boy, you know, so and so and say, boy, you know, so Pastor Brian called me and, and say, boy, bring, bring one pound of flour, come on, one, one chicken. And, and you go pan, pan up in a church, go get testimony about my problem. I don't want nobody to say <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know. So, so if you look at the text, you know, remember, you know, Malachi tell us not to say anything, you know. He told her not to say nothing. That's right. Look, look, at, look, look at verse number, look at verse number, um, look at verse num, 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 number 10. He said, Esther had not shown her people nor her kindred, for Malachi had charged her that she should not show it. That's my point, you know. Because if Esther had gone in there and said, listen, you know, I am a Jew, you know, I'm part of the captivity that was, 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 was brought away from Jerusalem in, 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 into, into, into the Babylonian by Nebuchadnezzar. You know what I mean? All of that, would, 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 they, they probably would have, would, have, would have thrown her out of the palace and, you know, one a Jew inside there. Exactly. So sometimes and, and, the point and is then, sometimes you have to just hold it down. And then, and then what shall she have found? What's she doing here? She not fit. Right, because because her identity would, would have kept her from, from certain things as much as she she's anointed, you know, that's my point. As much as you know, you say, Well, I God bless me and God open door. Sometimes if the Bible said death and life is in the power of the tongue, that means sometimes right. even though the blessing is there, even though the favor is there, it's not everything you, you must say, man. I go to church and hear people giving testimony and, and, and talking or something. I say, oh my God, you know, something you just, you just want it down, man. Yeah. Don't say it. Hmm. The enemy take it and run with it. You are not talking to me, no. Okay. You know, talking to Sometimes those are not testimony. You're, you're telling your business and, and, and you believe that, okay, that, that, that is what sometimes if you just keep your mouth. I've been in church exactly. over 20 years, you know, I know what I'm saying. Exactly. There's some things you just hold it down, you don't say it. And that's why the scripture said, death and life in the power. And I train my two kids, pastors, uh, I mean, um, bishop, for, I, I have two kids, sir. One is 21 and one is 34. And I, 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 I taught them those principles. Mm -hmm. I tell them, you're going to wear you're drinking something. Don't leave your, your, your drink unattended. I tell them, you go certain things, you don't say it. Mm -hmm. that's right. We have to Do tell them life. those things, you know. So, so if Mordecai can say to, I say to, um, say to, to um, Esther, don't say nothing, man. Don't say nothing. So even if you go in there, you see a Jewish person, don't say nothing because that's what the scripture says. Mm. But it, 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 that's what you just said, Pastor, because it is very important. We didn't want to bring it up tonight, but as you brought it up, we just can't see it. At that point in time, the people in Shunan were planning to kill all the Jews. Exactly. Yes, sir. No we, we don't reach there yet, but just as it needs to be verified, the plan at that point in time was. Oh, don't, go too, don't go too deep, Bishop. Don't go too deep. Don't go too deep in it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. The only thing that saved the Jews was because Esther was married to um, the king, and is she bring him the message? That saved the Israelite even until now. Mm. Yeah. Right. Right. And and, and, and so that, 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 that's come back next week. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, in the, and in the end, say it one more time, Bishop. Say it one more time. Bishop, give me some stir up the water. And say what we must come back next week. <laughs> <laughs> to justify the reason why we are thankful to God so indeed, no, so you know. at the point in time. Save our life to become, guess what? If Jesus who come through this um, background information would, would have, remember we talk about Kish and all those, this, uh, all those people, Israel had to continue because Jesus had to come. Right. And all right. these would have killed the water and don't let it boil up. 
Right. What is the thing that I want was to mention? I thought about your, your message that you preach on Sunday. And and, and 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 when I looked at the text, and there's so many aspects you could look at the text and make it relevant, is the fact that all the men they were not there. When you look at um, you know, Matthew's um recollection and Luke recollection, you, you, you know, Matthew talks about Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, and then Luke talks about Mary. But the point I'm saying that the men were not there, and so G, you know, the angel gave gave um the Marys Amen. or the Mary depends on which um um you know writer okay the message to go and tell to tell Amen. the disciples yeah. who were somewhere else mm -hmm. so the point I'm trying to bring from the the, the, the the lesson here is 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 the the the, the incredible um contribution that woman has, has, has brought into not only into the scriptures but but in 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 you know in our life that we can see no you, you, you understand what I'm saying? And, and, and so we, we, we are to appreciate women more, I think, okay? And, and so when we look in, in, in the scripture and see all oh, 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 the women were there, more than likely they probably never even slept the whole Saturday night. And they were there early in the morning because the Bible talks about it when Richard went preaching. It, 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 it was, it was kind of dark. Yeah. Uh. And and, 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 and and Peter and all the other rest, you know, you know, they were they were somewhere, you know, all in the fort. But then you see the Mary or the Marys were actually before they they were actually going there. Okay. You you get what I'm saying? And so when we look and see, you, you know, I just use that as a platform also, and we see how you know the angel gave she he didn't say I'm waiting for Peter them to come here. The angel didn't mm -hmm. say that. God didn't say that. He gave he gave the Marys. Or the Mary, okay, the, the message to go and tell the church, go and tell the, the, the 11 disciples oh, yeah. that he's, he's not here. And the Bible said that they run. That means when they got the news, when they go back, the place just bright up because you can't run in the darkness. I, I just got that when you were preaching Sunday Bishop, so I thought I would just use that as a little nugget to say, okay, women played a very, very important role in, in, in not only in, in, in the Old Testament, but also in, in the New Testament church because, because God entrusted them um, to go and bring the message to, um, to, 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 um, to all those um, people. You understand what I'm saying? And so we'll look and see when we get deeper into the lesson of, of um, Esther, we will see... Oh, 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 she pay, played, and I mean, you know, Bishop, let me push out of the bag anyway, but, but you know, I'm just going to bill on it in the next couple of weeks, but, but you must come back next week and, and, and whatever it is, okay? But, but she played a very, very significant role in, in history, and of course, I'm going to talk about Deborah later on, but um, it's, it's, it's very, very important that we recognize women in, in, in modern time, even in ministry. Yeah. Okay, that, that, that's the takeaway and, and see how we, we can mirror our life, whether we, got, we are an Esther or, or we are a Mordecai. That, that's, that's the point. We, we, we are to, to, to play that, that, that role because some people don't, 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 don't. there's a lady, um, someone um, said to me at work uh, today, there's a lady in Canada, all right, um, and uh, a Grenadian lady, and um, she called someone at the job and said, you know, she need prayer because her husband passed away um, recently. And so the gentleman come, I was in the lunchroom, and the gentleman came and, and asked me to pray. He's not a Christian, but the lady, you know, them say a droning man catch up a straw. But anyway, he's not a, he's not a Christian. So, he, he, you know, he came and I'm eating my lunch there, and he said, man, you know, this lady called and said, you know, um, she need prayer because she's lonely. Her husband died. You know, uh, your husband used to drop off to work. No, she don't have a car. She can't drive. And she's just going through, you know, this overwhelming wow. challenges are changing her life. And I says, wow. I could have said to the man, you know what, when you see me having my lunch, man, come back later. And I, I stopped my lunch, folks, brethren. I stopped my lunch. Yeah. He's, not, he's not a Christian, you know, but he came in the lunchroom looking for me, right? And the person didn't say to go, and, 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 and the person don't know me. But here's what I'm saying to you. He came in there and looked for me. And it was my opportunity, even though I'm in, I'm eating my food, okay? It was my opportunity to actually demonstrate a Christ-like, um, you, you know, character, okay? And, and I said, give me her name. And he showed me his cell phone. And I said, I mean, you, you, you know, I just pray for this lady. I don't know her. Maybe I would never see her, whatever. But it, it's important when I look at the said man, come and look for me. That means something is in me then that he see me on the job. I mean, as 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 his supervisor, and he still come to me and ask me for prayer for somebody because he can't do it. 
I'm not in a position to do it. <laughs> so, so, so what I'm saying here in the story, I can say, you know, today, you know, I was a Mordecai. And that is what I'm trying to say. Okay, we are to take uh, the scripture literally and, and make it applicable. Whether you want to put yourself as a, as a, um, a Esther, try don't put yourself as a Amen, but put yourself as a Mordecai mm. and, 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 and whatever it is. It's, it's, it's important, man. It's important. That is what we do for Christ. Gonna be, uh, that shall last, you know. Any, uh, any other comment? See some folks that didn't hear from you tonight, you know. I know you're going to say something. See, I'm, I'm highlighting the ladies in the, in the text. Come on, help me out, man. Don't you go on, so. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I think, I, I mean, I learned a lot for myself, you know, just going through these lessons. And I mean, I, I, I read the 10 chapters. I, I don't know how many times I read it just to familiarize myself again. And so it's, it's pretty, pretty incredible. You, you know, not only for Esther, but the, the other characters that will come later on. And so, you know, it's, 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 it's wonderful. But um, any other comments, Bertrand? It's, it's, it's 10 after 9. And um, try to go to my bed. I'm an I'm a early bed person. <laughs> okay. But I don't, I don't want to close. I mean, I, I know there's something else that we could go over, you know? Yeah, okay. and one of the things that we, we talked about earlier is, is that it so happened when they were planning to kill um, King Azarus, how oh, Mordecai was actually there to hear what was happening. Like, I don't know if he was his dropping, but regardless of that, he knew what was, what was happening and he actually kept it for a little while. I don't think he was his dropping, Pastor, because this is, the, this is the plan of God. This is a part of the favor. So yes. Esther could get to where she's going. Mordecai has to um telling telling Esther about the plan was very important. Yes. So it was very important. So I think God put Mordecai there to sit there and he, you know, sometimes you're at a place and you hear everything that is going around. You're not involved, but you hear what is going on. And that's what I think happened. Um, Mordecai heard all that was said and he took the very important part of it and told it to esther right but, and, and, and if you look at it and, and i just saw that there in verse 22 and it says and the thing was known to mordecai who told it to esther meaning that somebody came more than likely and told it to him yeah. because maybe where mordecai could not go inside the palace you know but he was outside the gate so somebody inside must have heard and to to Mar to Mordecai. So you, you, you understand what I'm saying, how God works. Um, I don't want to say mysterious way, okay? I'm just saying strategically that that person has to come and tell Mordecai. Mordecai, go and tell Esther. So you, you get what I'm saying? Because God um, already predestined his plan to rescue the Jews already, okay? And so he's yeah. going through bit by bit, just as the, di the, um, the director in the movie you, you, you know what I mean? We, we only see Denzel Washington, but the person, um, Steve Spielberg, who is a director, we don't see him, but he's the one who actually orchestrates everything to make the movie or, 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 the, or the, 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 you know, the, the, um, the play comes to life, but we don't, we don't see it. And so just as I said before, we don't see God in none of the 10 chapters here, but he's the one that is orchestrating the yeah. plan. And so could it be possible sometimes we don't really see God in our situation? I mean, I don't see God helping me because if God was really working, things would have been better, man. I mean, my situation is, 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 is getting worse and worse. The, the, the child or the children not doing what they're supposed to do. Things just not working out. Because yeah. it, took, it, took, it took Mordecai 12 months, you know, brethren. It took him 12 months, you know. And the Bible said, man, walk every single day. He never really gave up on, on, on um, the young lady, um, Esther. He never gave up. I want you to understand what I'm, what I'm saying here. It took him 12 months. Every day the Bible said that he walked by the place. He's interceding. In other words, he's waiting for a breakthrough, man. <laughs> oh, yes. Sometimes we, we, you know, we pray, we pray, we pray, and, and things not working out. You know, we start to change now, and we start to pray, pray another way because things not work out, and you get, you get a little you know, um, redundant in, in, in that situation you're praying for because it, it, it's, not, it's not coming to fruition and it's been, it's been two days already. 
And so we change and say, well, then God, you know what? We, I'm going to pray this way. But when you look at what is happening up I mean, here, Mordecai was consistent. He was committed. Mm -hmm. that, that's my point. And so it's important that we look at the, every word here and, 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 and look at what the scripture is saying here. Mordecai walked around for 12 months. Wanted to know what is going on in her, in her, in her life. And so, you know, I, I, I you know, it, it's, it, it, you know, what else can I say? But anyway, you know, I'm not going to go around, go around. But, but um, I hope everybody, you know, um, starts to glean something from, from the lesson tonight. And um, again, if you came on for the first time, I want to thank you so much for lending us your time on behalf of Faith Temple Ministry. And um, our bishop is online and um, Pastor Spence is there. And so if we don't have any other comments, I don't want to keep you all night because I myself personally, and I'm tired, I have a headache. But um, thank God I was able to sort of um, did what I did. And I hope you actually gleaned something like I said before. Um, so before I close, any, any final, final thoughts? Two minutes? Any questions? Anything that I left out? I, I did mention about the name, right? Adassa versus Esther. I mean, her name is is yeah. is um hidden. Did I mention that? Yes. Okay. All right. Good. All and right. So um, that even though you may lose your your given name, you you must also remember your birth name. You know, mm. because I'm sure that your birth name is part of what you inherit from your ancestors. So therefore, don't go down to Schumann and because you are renamed Esther, remember also when Uncle Marty or Cousin Mordecai call you, he may call you a data or whatever. The given name is <laughs> no, your birth name. <laughs> don't forget where you're coming from. <laughs> All right, so I'm I'm pretty much done. If if nobody um has anything else, I'm gonna ask um sister folks to close close up for us, please. Nevin want to say something or no? Oh, I. I saw the name come up. Nareen, do you want to say something? No, sorry. Okay, okay. Let us, let us give God thanks. Heavenly Father and our God, we thank you for your love for us. We thank you, God, that we cannot choose our way in order to be in your will. You will cause us, God, to come to that point where we will acknowledge you. And if you lead God, we beg of you, hold our hands. We know how stubborn sometimes it is for us to keep our hands in your hands. We are so idly looking in north, east, west, and south. But Father, how safe are those who trust you in the hollow of your hand? We mm. see that this kind lady of whom we are studying tonight, Lord, how she followed the principles of her guider. Uh, the one in whom she could have confidence and know my cousin is not going to lead me away. He passed by every now and then, sometime without even giving me a word. Sometimes I have to send him a little note by those who wait at the door. Ah, uh, God, but I know he is watching and keeping, ah, uh, God, my safety and my shelter and your will to be done in my life. We thank you for her principles and for her kindness in making herself faithful and coming on top of the crowd. Lord, we know that those who wait upon the Lord shall be renewed with strength, shall mount up with wings. Our God, we will see you, God, in all your glory. And this is what you did for her. Bless other lives that are wanting to make sublime to her life, God and sublime to your will. Bless some daughters of Zion. Bless some young people. Bless some mothers, some lovely women of the church, and yes. some men to be Mordecai, and yes. all of us to work together. Mordecai worked with Esther. Yes. Let us work together to your sovereign will. Let it be done in our home and in our family and in our community and everywhere we go. 
Thank you for the message of our uh, teacher tonight. He was able to share a prayer with somebody from far, mm -hmm. just like Mordecai would. Oh, how he went by over those period of time just to let Esther know that he's passing by. Bless our church, bless our worship, bless all those who tune in and bring some new folks next week, God, with some shared knowledge of your goodness that they may want to ask your favor in their lives. We tell you thanks for all things and for the word of teaching tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much.
Lord. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. We continue worshiping the Lord Church. Praise God. Praise His wonderful name. Amen. Praise God. There is salvation. There is salvation in Jesus Christ. Praise God. In Him. Only in Jesus we can find. Oh yes. Praise God. Rest from our burdens. Praise Almighty God. Praise God. You know, back home in Jamaica, we used to have some carts that was drawn by the horses or the mules. Praise God. And these were animals that were heavily burdened. Praise Almighty God. Praise God. Because there was a yoke around their necks. Praise God. And so today, praise Almighty God, I am saying to you today, those of us who have not yet turned over our lives to Jesus Christ, praise God, instead of you carrying that burden, instead of you carrying that yoke, that bondage, praise God Almighty, that is pulling you, that you have to be pulling around, Praise Almighty God. Will you today come to the cross? Will you today Jesus? It is a call for you to surrender your life to Jesus Christ. Come taste and see, praise Almighty God. Come taste and see how good God is. Praise God. I have tasted Others have tasted, but yet if you have not tasted the goodness of God, will you come today? Will you okay. lay your heavy burdens at the cross? Because only Jesus can assist you with that burden. Will you? Will you? If the Lord is speaking to you today, and if you have not yet fully turned over your life to Jesus, I ask you today, will you do so? And if your indication is yes, will you write it in the chat so that we could know? Will you indicate to us so that we can pray for you, we can call and we can pray with you? Praise God. The Lord is calling today. Praise God. The cross makes the difference for you, for me. The cross can make a difference for those who have not yet accepted. Today is your day. Praise Almighty God. The Lord is waiting. The Lord is willing to give you this great salvation that so many others have tasted of. Praise God. Are you thirsty? And are you longing to put down the load? The yoke that you're carrying, are you willing to lay them down at the feet of Jesus? Praise God. Praise Almighty God. Yes, God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to another closing, God, of your service. Oh, God Almighty, we want to thank you, God, for the word that was brought to us. We want to thank you, God, for the day's proceedings. Everything, mighty God, that was said and done, we give you the honor, we give you glory, and we worship and praise your matchless name. Today, Lord, there are some, there is somebody, oh Lord, there is someone, oh mighty Savior, who wants, oh God, to give their lives to you. <clears throat> but Lord, there is a whisper, oh God, in the other ear saying no. But today, God Almighty, we plead your blood, oh mighty Savior. And we ask, oh God, that that person will be relieved, oh God Almighty. That person, oh mighty Savior, will put down the yoke, oh God, of bondage. 
that person, oh God Almighty, will kneel at the cross of Calvary and open his or her life to you, eternal God, so that you can lead, oh God Almighty. Today, merciful Father God, there is room at the cross. There is still room at the cross for even one. <laughs> For even one soul, oh God, that is dying. God Almighty, we ask, dear Savior, oh God, that you will touch such a one from the crown of his or her head to the very sole of their feet and allow them to know, dear God Almighty, that there is still hope, oh God, in you, Jesus. Father, we glorify your name and we tell you thanks. Mighty God, when we look in the world today, even in our little Jamaica, <clears throat> and we see how, mighty God, our people are just taking the lives of others. Oh, God Almighty, we see how much the enemy is at work. And Lord, if these people, oh, mighty God, will only repent, if they will only come to the cross, if they would only understand, oh God, that there is hope in Jesus. If they would only understand that if they kneel at the cross, there is salvation for them. Then God, we will see our one another like our sisters and our brothers. So we thank you today that you are working, almighty Savior. Oh, mighty God, take full control of that little country. Oh, God Almighty. Oh, God, the people. You said in your word, oh, God, if your people were called by your name. <clears throat> and we know, dear God Almighty, that the church of God is standing upon your word. But if your people who are called by your name will, oh, God, humble themselves, seek your face, turn from their wicked ways and pray to you, Jesus. Then, God, you will heal the land. We pray for healing, O oh God, for Jamaica and for the people of Jamaica. We pray for healing for the people of the United States of America. Lord God Almighty, bring them to their knees so that they can acknowledge you, God, and serve you, Lord Jesus. I pray today that your hand, O oh God, will be upon us and that you will guide us, O oh God, from day to day. Take full control, O oh God, of, of us at this church, Faith Temple Church of God. And I pray, God Almighty, a special anointing upon your people of Faith Temple Church of God. And I pray, God, that even though the times are difficult and hard, and stressful at times. But God, we will continue to hold on to your unchanging hand. Bless us today. Guide us, we pray. And as again, Lord, if there is one who is willing to accept you today, I pray that the Holy Spirit, oh God, will engulf such a one and lead that one into your arms, oh God so that they will taste of your good and free salvation. Bless us another time and hear us as we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And now may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the Father, the full fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, May you rest, remain, and abide with us all until Jesus comes. We all say, Amen.